YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Well, I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. We're uh, doing okay out here in California. We're, uh, we're under quarantine right now. Uh, everybody is supposed to be self-quarantined in their house. And of course, I'm over 66, so I'm not supposed to go out anyway. But uh, I still think this is like a martial law exercise. It's just called quarantine. We'll see how it goes. But listen, don't let any of this uh, put you in fear. God's in control, and He's always in control, and He's always going to be in control. So don't be fearful. So listen, I want to talk to you today about a passage in 2 Corinthians 5.17. And this passage always seems to trip up a lot of Christians. And uh, this is what it says. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. A lot of people get tripped up by that because they're sitting there thinking, you know what? For a born-again believer, man, I sure do make a lot of mistakes. I mean, I still sin. Matter of fact, I sin a lot. And uh, it seems that it seems like everybody I know, everybody at church, everybody I know seems to be doing better spiritually than I am. And I'm supposed to be a new creature in Christ? I don't think I'm doing too good. You ever feel like that? I think we all have a little bit one time or another. But listen, there's a couple of truths that I need you to understand. And it's basic Christianity 101. And this is the first one. Are you ready? This is the truth. Everybody sins every day. Christians, non-Christians, Muslims, Mormons, makes no difference. Everybody sins every day. Mother Teresa used to sin every day. Gandhi used to sin every day. Paul used to sin every day. That's what he tells us in Romans 7. Everybody sins every day. No one is good. All of us, all of us, are a work in progress. You know, there's two Psalms that start out identical. Psalms 14 and 53 it says, God looked down from heaven to see if there were any that did good, any that practiced righteousness, and he couldn't find a one, not one single one. Everyone sins every day. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. It refers to your status. You're standing before God. It does not refer to your behavior. 2 Corinthians 5, 20 and 21 goes on to say this. Now we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead to be reconciled unto God. For he has made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. A born-again believer is a child of God. He is a new creature. That's his standing before God. You also have another status. You are an ambassador for the kingdom of God. You represent Christ in everything you do, and everywhere you go. You're a child of God. You're an ambassador for Christ. That's your standing. When you grasp who you are in Jesus Christ, when you grasp that, it makes living for Him a whole lot easier. And this is why. Because any little mistake you make, Satan and his demonic word pound you they're the ones making you think you're not worthy. They pound you with guilt and shame for every mistake you make. But the bottom line is, you're a child of God. You're an ambassador for Christ. So don't listen to them. This is what it says in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, 
which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. So listen. You're a child of God. You're saved by faith and faith alone in Jesus Christ. That's it. I've shown this scripture, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, to a lot of, a lot of different people, a lot of Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses. And I said, look at what this says. It's Christ plus nothing. I said, that's what this says. You put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ with a pure heart, you're saved. Nothing can be added to that. I say, is that correct? Is that what it says? And you know what they always say? Two words. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Well, you have to do all the temple rites. Yeah, but you have to worship on Saturday. Yeah, but you got to do this. Yeah, but you got to be baptized. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Well, when Paul said this statement, there is no verse 11 that says, yeah, but. There are no yeah, buts. You are saved by faith in Jesus Christ alone, not of works. So the next time Satan and his demonic horde start speaking to your mind, telling you what a worm you are because you still sin, you're not a child of God. You, you told a lie the other day. People, you're a new creature. Is your standing before God. You are a child of God. You are an ambassador for Christ, saved by grace and grace alone. Remember that. Because if you remember that, all of a sudden serving God is a pleasure. Either way, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.